The first person to choose to go to trial in the Macomb County federal corruption case is now locked up. Former Clinton Township trustee Dean Reynolds is guilty as charged 14 counts of bribery and conspiracy. 15 others charged in corruption cases took plea deals. Now investigator Jim Kirstner is live outside federal court in Port Huron where the jury took only 90 minutes to reach a verdict. Jim, what happened in court? Carolyn, I can tell you Dean Reynolds walked into this courthouse this morning a free man for the final time. He was out on bond, but those days are over. He's now facing up to 20 years in prison. Check it out. It was two years ago that he was indicted on all those charges, and the evidence before the jury was overwhelming. Video and audio surveillance of Reynolds himself discussing payments with Chuck Rizzo for a trash contract in Clinton Township. Rizzo paid Reynolds tens of thousands of dollars and paid for Reynolds' divorce attorney. Reynolds also took money from towing contractor Gaspar Fiore and other engineering contractors. Rizzo, or rather Reynolds, put on no defense. His attorney told the jury that these were loans, not bribes. Reynolds was offered a plea deal last month by the feds, but said no. Do you regret not taking a plea deal? No, sir, I'm innocent. You're innocent? Yes, sir. You think that's what the jury will find? We'll find out. Thank you. Mr. Reynolds, do you have anything to say to taxpayers? Are you sorry for betraying your oath of office? Still believe you're innocent? Reynolds is set for sentencing here in October. If he had taken that plea deal, he would have only faced 10 years, but now it's in the range of 20 years. Four other people's cases with the feds are pending, and the feds say others are still to be charged. Live in Port Huron, Jim Kurtzner, the now Detroit. Thank you much, as always, Jim, for that live report.